OpenAI has just released Sora 2, which not only completely changes things from a video AI generation perspective, but also potentially could change the landscape of social media as we know it. It's a release that combines a major technical leap with a whole new way of interacting with AI content. And this is potentially huge. In this video, I'm going to share everything you need to know. So what is Sora 2? Sora 2 is OpenAI's brand new video and audio generation model. It's the successor to the original Sora, and it's a big step up in terms of realism, control, and creative subtlety. It doesn't just generate visuals anymore, it also generates synchronized audio, whether that's dialogue, background ambience, or sound effects, all tied to what you're seeing on screen. Where the first version of Sora often felt like a really impressive demo with obvious gaps, Sora 2 is now producing results that look and feel much closer to real filmmaking. We're talking about more physically accurate motion, shots that can cut naturally from one scene to another, and camera moves that actually feel directed rather than just simulated. It's still not flawless, you can catch the AI fingerprints if you're looking, but the gap has definitely narrowed. So how does this compare to Google VO3? Up until now, VO3 was the best model available. It was Google's first proper high-end model that combined video and audio into a single generation, and it set the benchmark for what serious AI video looked like. The results were sharp, cinematic, and often surprisingly coherent. But Sora 2 edges past it comfortably, in my opinion. Not by brute force, but by finesse. The outputs have a different quality, a bit more nuanced, a bit more subtle, as if they're aware of how storytelling actually works on film. Shots hold together across different moments, characters behave a bit more consistently, and little details like a basketball bouncing realistically off a backboard instead of vanishing now happen naturally. To give VO3 its due, compared to any predecessor, it already bought a noticeable leap in visual subtlety. The texture quality, lighting, and general finish felt far more realistic. But what it still lacked was that storytelling feel. The sense that a shot could have been composed and captured by a real filmmaker. That's exactly where Sora 2 pushes things further. It's not just the surface level visuals that look better, it's the way the entire sequence carries a professional style, often feeling as though it could genuinely have been recorded, barring the occasional distortion of reality that still gives it away. So right now it's fair to say that Sora 2 has taken the crown. VO3 is still excellent, but OpenAI has pulled ahead. And of course it's almost inevitable that we'll see Google respond with something like VO4 in the not too distant future. But I also want to mention some of the other things that came with this release. Alongside the model, OpenAI also dropped something new, the Sora app. For now it's iOS only, invite only, and limited to the US and Canada. But the concept is pretty big in my opinion. It's basically a social platform built entirely around AI generated video. You can swipe through the feed as you'd expect, remix other people's videos, and most intriguingly, you can insert yourself or your friends into scenes through a feature called Cameos, with consent and controls baked in. It feels like OpenAI isn't just releasing a model here, they're building an ecosystem. People are likely to have one of two initial impressions of this app. On the one hand, it's a really cool hub for AI-generated content and creativity. On the other, a lot of people will be understandably skeptical. Given how social media has often been experienced up until now, as a negative, addictive, and a bit of a waste of time, there's a natural question, do we really need an AI equivalent? OpenAI's intention, though, seems to be a little bit different. Rather than a newsfeed driven by outrage, divisive takes, and algorithmic bait, the Sora app is meant to feel a bit more personal, fun, and entertaining. The design pushes towards playful remixing of friends and family's creations, and ideally positions you not just as a viewer, but also as a fellow creator. Whether it truly stays that way over time is uncertain, but early impressions suggest a somewhat positive, light-hearted vibe, though that may be partly down to the novelty of it. And this is where cameos become important. It's not just a gimmick to drop your face into a clip, although that might be the case for some people. The idea is to make generative video social in a new way, by letting your verified likeness become part of your friend's creations, with full control to revoke or adjust how it's used. 
That's a very different framing from traditional feeds because it makes you feel like an active participant rather than just a passive consumer. It's not yet obvious if everyone will want to be a creator, but they're at least carving out a niche and it does make the barrier to entry for creativity itself much lower. Sora 2 is right now the most advanced video generation model available. It has overtaken Google's VO3, which had been the leader up until now. And it brings with it not just technical improvements, but also a new app ecosystem that could reshape how things are created and about sharing video content that is AI generated. But there are wider ramifications too. As models like this improve, deep fakes and deceptive media will inevitably become harder to spot. OpenAI and even Google is trying to address this with visible watermarks, invisible metadata and other safety features, but the challenge will grow as quality rises. We should also expect to see much more AI generated content now appearing on social platforms in general. Not just inside the Sora app, but Instagram, TikTok and others will almost certainly start to fill up with this kind of content over time. For now, the rollout is slow. The app is invite only and limited to one region. But once it goes mainstream, the volume and style of content on social media could actually change quite dramatically. Let me know though your thoughts in the comment section below. And also if you want to keep up to date with all of the latest AI releases, trends and important updates, feel free to subscribe to my weekly newsletter, which you can find a link to in the description. As always, if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.